Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to today's video. Well, it's Monday and that can mean only one thing. You know what it means. It means that it's Europe Day. Yes, every Monday on GazWeatherVids.com I have a look at the European weather for the uh, week ahead. Now, for a good old video, I just want to talk about the advertising. There will usually be a video ad overlaying my web videos at GazWeatherVids.com uh, Please play those video ads because you'll be supporting GazWeatherVids.com uh, by doing that. Also, I want to mention the website where the charts are coming from. It's westcentral.de. You can find it on my links page, and they have all the uh, charts from all the major computer models, as well as, as, well as any, an extensive archive of historic charts going back to uh, January 1871. So, I'll just get rid of my face there so we can see what's going on there we go and this is the situation today across europe we've got a trough of low pressure up over scandinavia and really across this the northwestern part of europe it is a very unsettled scene we've got a generally high pressure through the mediterranean weak pressure but uh, there's a lot of dry weather through there and we're also pushing low pressure up in towards the west of russia as well so it has turned uh, much more unsettled across western parts of russia uh, just recently the fine weather is really down uh, through the Mediterranean. Now we have a look at the upper air temperature, see where the uh, cool air and the hot air is. We can see that this northwestern part of the continent is very cool indeed. Ireland, Britain, much of uh, northern and central France, in towards uh, the bulk of Germany, the Low Countries, uh, Denmark, much of Scandinavia, uh, very cool with uh, very cool upper air temperatures. Have to go down to the Mediterranean and then up this eastern side of Europe to find the heat. That's where the hot upper air is, particularly focused, uh, of course, through the, the Mediterranean here, uh, from southern and central parts of Spain and through into the Balearic Islands and then on in towards uh, Italy, uh, Corsica, Sardinia, and uh, then further eastwards through in towards uh, Greece and Turkey that's really where the heat is focused. So having a look at the precipitation today, and well it's a very unsettled scene up in this northwestern part of the continent, showers or longer spells of rain through much of France, Germany, the Low Countries, Denmark, up into uh, much of central southern uh, Scandinavia, Sweden, Norway, uh, very unsettled there. And settled weather extending up into Finland and very unsettled into the west of Russia as well with some heavy rain and thunderstorms and then that extends back southwards in towards these eastern European countries down in towards Ukraine some parts of uh, Poland as well you have to go to the Mediterranean where the bulk of the Mediterranean is dry as you would expect in the middle of summer and really into the southeastern part of Europe where we've got a lot of dry uh, weather as well but the central northern parts the bulk of the continent really a very unsettled scene Cape convective potential. Well, we're seeing convective potential on this eastern side up in towards Russia and down in towards the uh, east of Europe. That's where it got some thunderstorms going on. Also, the risk of some thunderstorms around the Alpine regions. And that's usually the case. Not a lot of Cape up in this northwestern part of the continent. That's because it's so cool. And, of course, we have got Cape through the Mediterranean, but the air is very dry. Um, so that convective potential isn't really uh, being realised through much of the Mediterranean at the moment the jet stream well the jet stream is a long way south was barreling there into a spain and portugal that's why it's so cool because the bulk of the continent is on the northern side of the jet stream um i remember jet stream pushes northwards up into this eastern side of europe so that's where we've got the heat on the eastern side but to the north of this jet stream which is really the bulk of northern and central and northwestern europe we are on the northern side of the jet uh, so it is on the cool side and the confirmation of that is in the temperature is very cool through Ireland, Britain, uh, much of Denmark, the low countries, uh, the bulk of Germany below average, below average temperatures, very cool really uh, through the bulk of uh, France. It's the Mediterranean, Spain, uh, through the Mediterranean into Italy and then up this eastern side where we've got the heat temperatures well into the uh, mid 30s Fahrenheit through the bulk of the Mediterranean um, up to around 38 degrees perhaps around parts of Greece and that is uh, 100 Fahrenheit so that is where the heat really is but that's where it should be of course in the middle of summer we're going into the middle part of the week into Thursday and we see low pressure, a new area of low pressure coming into this northwestern part of uh, Europe and really uh, much of northern Europe very unsettled still 
with low pressure dominator. We've got a bit of a ridge building in towards uh, Portugal there, and uh, the bulk of Mediterranean is under slack pressure. The air is dry, uh, so it is basically dry through the Mediterranean. Confirmation of that is a precipitation forecast for Thursday. We've got uh, near uh, to no precipitation here uh, through Mediterranean, Portugal, Spain into Italy, uh, Corsica, Sardinia, the Balearic Islands, lots of dry weather, and dry weather extending into this southeastern part, but come north, and that's where you find precipitation, so it's through France, Britain, Ireland, again, uh, heavy rain, outbreaks of rain, or showers, and then uh, showers, or longer spells of rain, through uh, much of uh, Germany, uh, Denmark, the Low Countries, Holland, up in towards uh, the bulk of Scandinavia as well, turning very unsettled with showers or longer spells of rain. And then showers extending into this northeastern part of the continent also. Convective potential is in the east, uh, not a huge amount of convective potential even there. And the bulk of northern and central and western Europe, not much convective potential. The reason for that is that it's so uh, cool. So look at the temperatures. Incredibly disappointing, really, through the bulk of northern, central, and northwestern Europe. Just uh, six, 15, 16, 17 degrees through much of Britain and Ireland. 17, 18, 19 degrees there through Germany. That is extremely cool uh, for the time of year. And even France, you have to go right down to the south of France to find temperatures getting anywhere near towards the uh, warm category. And even then, it's not that warm really uh, for the middle of summer mid 20s celsius in the south of france at uh, this time of year 12th of july is nothing to write home about the heat is uh, through spain and portugal central southern spain and portugal anyway uh, not so much in the far northern uh, parts of those countries and then through the mediterranean into this uh, southeastern part again and then up in towards uh, russia it is still quite warm but even i mean for the ukraine it's not that too warm and uh, and even for uh, Poland there, and uh, I say Germany as well, uh, very cool temperatures. Finally, having a look at next weekend, and the cool and unsettled weather does remain with us, I'm afraid. Low pressure still is dominating in this northwestern and uh, central and northern part of the, the continent uh, through into next weekend. We've got high pressure ridging up in towards uh, Spain and Portugal again. The Azores high trying to uh, give us some sort of influence uh, through the Mediterranean, but uh, really the central and northern parts of Europe remain very unsettled look at the upper air temperatures for next saturday incredibly cool anywhere where it's yellow it's below average uh, for the middle of summer so that's really for britain ireland down in towards france the bulk of france well below average and germany uh, poland up in towards scandinavia as well very very cool upper air temperatures even got a little patch of green there around uh, scotland uh, very cool upper air temperatures indeed. The heat is still through the Mediterranean, uh, but even in Mediterranean, it's being pushed further southwards, these central uh, parts of the Mediterranean, uh, around Balearic Isles, probably seeing those temperatures uh, easy off even down there uh, through the course of next weekend. So, precipitation well, lots of showers or longer spells of rain up in this central, northern, and western part of the continent. It's again, it's through the Mediterranean. But we have basically completely dry weather, as you would expect at this time of the year. Clear blue skies, and that's where the sunshine is. Look at that jet stream. That is quite, quite extraordinary uh, for the middle of summer, high summer. We've got a very, very strong jet there powering uh, through France from the Atlantic, well, well south of where it should be. Um, and pushing on in towards this eastern part of Europe, actually getting on over towards uh, the Ukraine there. That is quite extraordinary, that jet stream forecast for this time of year. And unsurprisingly, with a jet stream like that, it's very cool for the bulk of the continent. Temperatures well below average, just into the teens, through Ireland, Britain, France, Germany, Denmark, the Low Countries, Holland. Uh, even into Poland, we're seeing temperatures struggling to get up into the 20s. Have to go right onto this uh, extreme eastern side and then down through the Mediterranean to find anything approaching uh, decent temperatures. And yes, that little patch of green over the Alps there around Switzerland that could just be uh, low enough to produce a little bit of snow on the Alps uh, next weekend. So, well, it's quite amazing, really. It's very cool. 
very unsettled with the book of the continent. But Mediterranean's okay. If you're off for a Mediterranean holiday, that's where summer's going to be. Clear blue skies, dry weather, and very warm or hot. Um, but really, the bulk of the continent, central, northern, western, and northwestern Europe, very unsettled, very cool, nothing like you would expect or hope for at this time of the year. That's it for now. Come back next Monday. We'll be doing another European outlook, seeing if things are warming up and improving across the continent. But that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.